If your desk looks like mine, then you probably have plenty. <laughs> Today I've got junk journal insert ideas for you in my brand new inspiration journal. I'm giving you a flip through. I'm showing you five fun things I've tucked inside the pages of my journal. Here we go, y'all. Well, hello and welcome to Pink Paper Peppermints. My name is Melissa and I'm so glad you're here today. We are looking at my inspiration journal, which is from our podcast, Creative Faith and Friends. We have a challenge every week and we are doing those challenges in our inspiration journals. We're only on the first one, so you haven't uh, gotten too far behind if you want to join us. But I wanted to show you a flip through of my journal before I actually start working in it. And the journal cover itself, the fabric I actually made a few years ago, and I had put a little patch on it and embroidered the year, and I never used it. And it was from 2015, as you can see here, and I really didn't like the patch. Once I got it on, I was like, this, the colors don't match. And so that's, I think, why I didn't use it. So what I decided to do was just cover it up with some more fabric and some pom-poms and sequins and now I love it. So now this is gonna be my inspiration journal for the podcast and I've done our first challenge, um, actually a couple of challenges, which I won't show you them all, I'll just show you our first one from episode two. And the link is in the description also if you wanna check out the podcast and join us in the challenges. It has been so much fun. So this first page, what I did was embossed some paper and I cut out some vintage wallpaper, which I typed the title of my journal on. And I used some pink typewriter ink, which I get from a shop that sells colored typewriter ink for vintage typewriters, which is super cool. And the paper is from my word studies kit. And it's like a blue graph paper. That kit has a lot of different colored graph papers in it. You see there on the screen. And then I embossed it and sewed the wallpaper on it. And then on this page, I used some paper from my Summer Stories kit. It's like a matte paper and I printed it on transparency and I had actually die cut some shapes out of it, but then I decided to take the scrap and use it in my book. And I loved how the heart just ended up over America there and Canada and Mexico. And um, so I thought that was really cool. I love that. And I think I'm going to sew the side of this up and make a little pocket there. This is a vintage butter wrapper that's kind of on uh, some, it's kind of like deli paper or parchment paper. And that is a tag from my Ledger Paper Tag series. And I used a new border punch on it. I was testing it out and I have kind of become obsessed with those border punches now. And this is a really cool set of envelopes and I will link the shop that I got these from below. Um, but they have these eyelets in them and I so I wanted to wrap them, kind of use them like a page wrap in my book. So I, I put some seam binding through them so that they would go. And then immediately I was like, well, I have to make a book out of this too. So that's my next thing is I wanna make a little mini book with those envelopes. And then I just wanted to show you that I, I basically just made this into a traveler's notebook insert because I like to keep my pages loose when I'm working in a journal until I'm finished and then I bind them in sometimes or sometimes I just leave them. That's some inked uh, parchment paper that I stuck in my book and these are some different little bags that I put in and this one I actually made. It's a little DIY bag and I was gonna show you, super simple to make this. I used paper from my April paper kit and you just fold the paper in half that you, you can see that there and then I sewed up the edges and I used one of those border punches, it's a scalloped border punch to do the top. And then I, before I sewed up the edges, I sewed that little butterfly on. And then you just fold it in half and wrap it around your page. And then if you wanted it to be little individual sacks, you could just cut it there instead of the fold and sew up those sides and you could make your own little bags. Like you could use them as treat bags or Happy Mail bags. But I just thought that was super cute. And then this is some onion skin paper that I embossed and it's over a book page. It's actually from the book that I used to make that journal, which I will link that video below if you haven't seen that one yet. And so I'm tucking that in there. It doesn't have an opposite page, so I'm gonna have to sew it in somehow. Some more inked graph paper. And this is some of my very favorite 
paper. Uh, you probably see it in everything I make because I love it so much. It's um, from my Rhythms of Grace uh, paper pack. That's all vintage linens. And I just did some inking on the back and there's some vintage paper, vintage typewriter paper that I was playing with inks on as well. I really, really love those spray inks. I use the Dilutions ones and I'll link my shop that I get those below. She has really good uh, prices and shipping. So this is a little card. I bought some art from one of my favorite artists, Robin Marie Smith. And when she sent it to me, she sent me this little card of some more of her art, which I wanted to put in the book because I just love her art so much. And a vintage, vintage ledger paper. And this is actually a vintage ledger paper from my new creation kit and that I did some inking on and a Betty Crocker recipe book page with some ink and some wallpaper, some vintage wallpaper. And I will link that shop that I got that below as well. And then this is a vintage hymnal page that I did some ink on and it got torn. So I think I'm going to glue it to the back of that wallpaper page. And that's why I have it tucked in there. That's some vintage ledger receipt paper and an inked envelope and some more inked paper. I think that's ledger paper. Yeah, on the back you can see it's ledger paper. This is actually the little manila folder that Robin Marie sent her art in, and she had it tied through two little holes at the bottom with that sari silk, so I just loved that, and I tucked that in the book. I, I just felt like that was a really fun blank canvas. Uh, this is just some graph paper that I was practicing. I got some new markers, so I was kind of practicing lettering and coloring with those. And this is a really pretty book of Tomoe River paper. And if you heard, I think it was our second episode, but it might have been our first episode, we talked about Tomoe River paper. And so I will link the shop where I got this below. It's a beautifully made book. She hand sewed it. And it's a really good price for the amount of Tomoe River paper that you get. And you can see I haven't played with it yet. I just tucked it in the book as soon as I got it in the mail. And there is the other half of that manila folder and some more inked ledger paper. And this is that envelope. We saw the top of that envelope before that was inked. And I used, I had some scraps of one of my kits, the, the one that you see on the screen there. And so I just made a little mini book and I used, those are some, do y'all remember magnetic poetry? <laughs> I have, still have a jar of those magnetic poetry words. And so I used some of those for the title and some pages from my new creation mini book there and different vintage papers and inked papers and I just tucked all of that in to make kind of like a little mini journal um, that I titled remember the good because you know there's a lot of not so good things going on these days and so I wanted to just jot little notes about when something happy happens so this is a page that I did with my new April kit and there's the rest of that wallpaper and ledger paper. This was our first assignment in our inspiration book to do color wheels. We could do them out of anything that we wanted, any material or any art supply. And I chose my three favorite things, which are vintage hankies and vintage gingham and vintage uh, sheets and made the, the color wheels. And they're not actually attached yet because I have a couple things that I think I wanna do still, so I haven't attached them, but that's where they're gonna go on that ledger page. And then there's some more inked paper, vintage paper, and you can see me playing with my border punches again. And some more ink on that vintage linen paper and graph paper. And then this, I guess this is the other half of all the pages that you've already seen, the book and the sacks and that's some more of that inked parchment paper that has the most wonderful sound too when you turn the pages and there's the other half of my uh, eyelet envelopes and map paper and the transparency paper and then we're ready for the next signature and this one what i did was i used the cover of a vintage ledger paper book uh, I was almost out of the ledger paper, and so I didn't want to throw the cover away because it was so cool. I love that eye ease. And so I used that as the cover, and that's actually some of the ledger paper from that book that I was playing with some ink and paint on. And then the next paper is the pink and red ledger paper is from my February paper pack, and it's got some ledger paper wrapped around it, sewn to it, that I've embossed. And I printed it double-sided. That's from that same February pack. 
and then some parchment paper that's been inked and a book page. A lot of this is scraps, you know, things from my desk that I just liked and just folded in half and put it in, which is such a quick way to do a junk journal is just start grabbing scraps. If your desk looks like mine, then you probably have plenty. <laughs> But um, this is a piece of ribbon that I just sewed onto. That was someone's resume that was tucked into a vintage book that I bought and an old typewriter uh, workbook and some more embossed uh, onion skin paper. I just love doing that. I love the texture of it and some more inked ledger paper. And this is basically all these are just backgrounds waiting for me to do things in. And it's so much more fun to open the book and have all these pretty backgrounds already ready for you. It just makes it easier to create when you have time to create. Those are some slides from my Summer Stories kit and I printed them on a transparency and then I was just playing around with gluing them to that parchment paper. And then some painted paper. I think that was, I did that on my gel plate. And some fabric, a fabric page. And it's got a tag attached with next week's assignment. So I'm not going to show you that yet, but that's coming up. And then an envelope that I was experimenting printing some of my paper on that envelope. My printer was not too happy with me about running that envelope through it, but it, it survived. And then some more inked paper and ledger paper. And then you can kind of see the watermark on that onion skin paper. I printed some butterflies from my butterfly, well watered garden butterfly kit on it, and then I embossed it. And so it's really pretty because it's a little transparent and then it has lots of pretty texture. And I love that because you don't even have to fussy cut the butterflies, you just print them out. So this is a, a tag from my Giant Journaling Tags for those vintage linens. I'm just going to make a pocket of it there, and I just haven't done that yet, and attach it. And some more gel paper and a book page with some more ink. And that's the rest of that parchment paper that I inked and graph paper that's been inked. And then I think some embossed paper is next. Yeah, so a little bit, I guess we're on the second half of everything. Some embossed paper and some more, that's that resume and a little sack and ink paper and a book page and the February paper and the rest of that ledger paper. So that is my blank book. And I, oh, I wanted to show you this. I tucked this in because my friend Michelle, made me this she's on my creative team we're also friends and she made me this beautiful little pouch with the rainbow and little rainbow pull and i just love it so much and it's quilted she's super talented she's good at fabric and sewing and everything so a lot of my friends are super talented it's really nice and um so if you enjoyed this video i have this video it's a flip through it's actually in three parts but each part has or four parts. It has lots of fun pages to look at, so I think you'll like that. I will link that for you below. And if you haven't listened to the podcast, I would love it if you would come by the blog and take a listen and see what you think. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a week filled with peace and grace, and I will see you next time here on Pink Paper Peppermints. Peppermints.